Hello and welcome to the short board for Parshas Vayakel, Pikude, and Chazak. We're going to have three separate Tevei Torah for each of these topics. We'll start with Perak Lamed, Hey Pasuk Lamed. Moshe tells the Bnei Yisrael, Ru'u kara Hashem, Hashem B'Tzal ben Uri ben Chur. See that Hashem is called by name to B'Tzal, the son of Uri, the son of Chur. The Ariza, Rabbi Yitzchak Luria, 1534 to 1572, he says, what is, the, what is the nature of this re'iyah? What were they shown? So he says that it's coming to tell us about the Bnei Israel were skeptical at the time that the Mishkan would form a kapara, for, a sign of forgiveness for the Egel Hazab, for that big sin. So what this came to do is to show them, in fact, that it was a, a kapara. Because in Kategor Nasa Senegar, we don't make the prosecutor become the defender. We don't want to use something in our case that would incriminate in order to justify and show forgiveness and to defend uh, the person under prosecution. So here too, it, when it says that Hashem appointed B'Tzal, the grandson of Hur, who was killed because he would not participate in the sin of the Egel, so the fact that they would even that Hashem would even consider B'Tzal to become the the construction chief, the, the engineer, the head of building the, the, the Mishkan, the tabernacle, that shows that it must be that they were forgiven from the sin of the Egel, and that's how we could have the Tzalel be the leader with his, the, 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 the Mishkan specifically. Moving on into Pekude, so we have Ela Pekude Mishkan, Mishkan Ha'idus. These are the countings of the tabernacle, the, the tabernacle of testimony, and Moshe brought a reckoning. That's in Perak Laman Ches, Pasuk, Chaf Aleph. The Midrash Rabbah there says, why did Moshe make a cheshbon? The reason is because he heard the Leitzanei Yisrael, the, the mockers of the Bnei Yisrael, talking behind his back and saying, we need to have an accounting. So he didn't want to give them an outlet to, 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 to accuse him and make a chil Hashem chas v'shal. So Rav Zalman Saratsk the Slutska Rav in his Magnum Opus, the Asnaim the Torah on Chumash, he lived in 1881 to 1966. So he says that they required a cheshbon, an accounting for uh, the Mishkan, which was for a mitzvah, but for the Eagle, no one asked for an accounting what happened to our donations. So he says this is, relates to the quality that we have in the Bnei Yisrael. When it comes to doing a, a mitzvah, a chesed tzedakah, then we, we ask for an accounting. And that's because we want to make sure that when when something is given for mitzvah, we want to get that it's fully used, every cent goes to the right cause, and then we'll get the full zechus, the full credit for it. However, and that's because that's the innate nature of a, of a Jew. He, he wants to do the right thing, so he wants to make sure it's done properly. When it comes to some giving money to a cause that's an eagle, a, a bad cause, an improper cause, then they're not, they don't ask for an accounting because inside they're really saying like, okay, I did wrong, I get, I went against Hashem's will, uh, we don't have to make an exact accounting for that. And that's why the difference is between a good cause that a Jew wants an accounting and for something that's not the best cause, they uh, they don't pay so much attention to. And finally, the coup day at the end, it brings us to the end of the Sefer Shemos. We say, we conclude, we say, Chazak, Chazak, Benes Chazak. Rabbi Ephraim Goldberg, in his Shir and Pekude 5782 last year, he quoted Rabbi Chiel Spiro, who, who cited the Kedusha Tzion, the father of the previous Bava of a Rebbe, who says on Chazak, Chazak, Benes Chazak, that most things in the world, when you give it away, the giver has less of it afterwards. If you give away money or commodity, you have less of it after time. You give away, if you give away your time to help someone, afterwards you have less time left. So that's the negative there. But when it comes to doing something that avodas Hashem to, to support a, a fellow Jew, then in fact, when you're Chazak, 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 when you're helping someone else, in this Chazak, not only do you not lose anything from that giving, but you actually become stronger afterward. And we merit to, to continue to do mitzvahs. And when we do tzedakah and chesed, that everything should be to the fullest extent and we'll get the maximum reward. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.